So, willkommen bei den letzten Kultureinblicken. Ich habe es doch geschafft, die letzten drei freizuschalten, Gott sei Dank. Und da würde ich sagen, wir fangen einfach an mit Menschentöter. The recurring type of character in Anupiak stories is the Manslayer. And the Manslayer is kind of this bad guy. And I think really what's at risk when the Manslayer comes into story is the livelihood of individuals and the whole community. And so the Manslayer is really used as a way to say, don't act only for yourself. Always hold the community in your heart. Often time in these stories, there is one person that will stand up. And, and what this humble person will represent who faces that manslayer is a return to order, a return to true living in the community. And it just takes that one person. It could just be that one person that can help to change everything. Because everyone wants to live a good life. Everyone wants to have a good community. Okay. Das hat also die Rolle gespielt von diesen Menschen. So, Wetterkunde. With regard to the environment, the blizzards have been one of the key elements that have impacted the survival of people, in, especially in the hard uh, winter. We know a blizzard is coming when the moon is starting to get fuzzy. We also look at the stars. When the stars are twinkling fast, we know a storm is approaching. We look to the clouds in the sky to give us a direction the storm is coming from. We learn this uh, as children by observing weather on a daily basis. Okay, das ist echt interessant, krass, cool, also mit den Wolken, das kann man ja noch selbst ablesen, aber mit den funkelnden Sternen müsste man mal beobachten. Klingt cool. So, und der letzte Kultureinblick ist Konuksayuka. With the story of Konuksayuka, told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a It's just a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people. And in our case, of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage, it's, it captures the imagination. And it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do. But there's a blizzard, you know, and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people. And there's one man that wants to figure it out. And in our case of the story, it's a girl that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical embodiment of an element of nature. And so there's a person that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value. And where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment, like where the Inuit reside, you're at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that you know you're not the biggest force in the world. Okay, das war's auch schon. Dann sehen wir uns hoffentlich bei Fox Tales wieder beim Add-on, das werde ich auch spielen. Ich hoffe, es hat euch Spaß gemacht. Und ich würde sagen, dann sehen wir uns im nächsten Teil. Bis dahin, macht's gut.